yeah how to do trends in trends beautiful beautiful work so here remember you always want to enter with multiple with multiple confluences you just enter after one confluence the first confluence we have here is what we have an uptrend so as i was saying you have, you have to have at least three confluences the first confluence here is we have the uptrend second confluence Up, uptrend is confirmed by what price is respecting the trend line the second price broke out of what resistance and it retested resistance third we have price again respecting a second trend line so what do we do simple as this girl I, ho I hope you guys are paying attention to what i'm going to say next yeah what do you do next remember I told you guys when do you buy you buy when the price is an uptrend that's the first one when do you buy you buy when price pulls back at support second one third you buy when the price is at your trend line so put your buy trade right there you put your buy trade right there yeah put your buy trade right there and you enter your trade you see you guys how this is simple you see how this is simple yeah see how this is simple so again this is an uptrend right so price goes yeah we draw again another one draw another one right there right there so price breaks out right price breaks out remember wall is buy at support and sell at resistance so price breaks out comes back to support so this is why i don't actually trade single bottoms and single tops i don't pick single bottoms and single tops see what happened there if you entered your buy trade you'll you be stopped out why because you're taking singles oh, that's why i always like to take double tops and double bottoms or oh, i trade after a consolidation has happened there was no consolidation here so you get stopped out so and for this so the simple fact that price violated this trend line here then also price violates this second trend line for the second time yeah it breaks below support making it resistance so we're waiting for what sells price rallies it comes back and we test our our current resistance when price comes back here it comes back with momentum then the momentum depletes yeah there's a depletion of momentum of the of the buyers how do you know that we have weak rejection to show that the what the buying pressure has reduced yeah then we have price consolidating then we have a candlestick pattern you see this shooting star here that's a strong shooting star the week is really long and look at the body closed bearish if you're not if if, if you're not com uh, like comfortable with this you can wait for this engulfing candles you can see it broke out of this small consolidation here after that happens remember this is at your at your what resistance yeah what else is supporting this resistance here you can jo join the dots see this as that yeah you have the, the dynamic resistance supporting that yeah and you have the reason uh, we also have this like price broke out let me so we have this option going here price broke out of this of this uh brick wall this support brick wall here remember when whenever price breaks out of support it has to resistance yeah broke out of it telling us what we are going to sell whenever you break okay at, whenever you break support it turns into resistance what happens with resistance you sell at resistance it's sold at resistance it's a what one to four risk to reward ratio 
you have stop loss above you go for your targets and i always like to go for targets either to the to the to the, to the next after resistance to the next support yeah that's how you take your take profit the next support yeah and see price touched the first time second time third time see what happened right here price came created a level respected that level what do you do you sell that thing oh price is doing bits right now just a minute just a minute guys just a minute sell that thing you sell to the next you're selling at resistance you sell to the next support yeah set the next support that's how you keep accurate with these things guys that's how you stay accurate with these things yeah this must literally change your trading guys if you if you if, if you're getting value from this consider to subscribe below that's that's the little thing you can do at least consider to subscribe to like the video comment down below if this is helping you and see see what happened here hang 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 perfect break see break of what this dynamic resistance we start with any word it turned into support what do you do as support you buy stop loss below go for your target up there yeah and since this was support look 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 at this look at that it's a support right price went came back gave us a double bottom here remember for me i i follow rules based strategy so i enter whenever i see the bottom on my support of resistance yeah for this time what we have to lose the trade but after what price going for more than a one to one remember whenever price goes for more than a one to one this is what 24 pip stop loss and look at this one to one is uh what 20, 24 pips is here 24 pips is there whenever price which is one to one with two one that's another trick i have to teach you guys you put your you put your stop loss at break even so that when price does this this manyanga here in the kiswahili you call it manyanga whenever price does this confusion here you don't get stopped out of the trade yeah you protect yourself yeah while whilst other traders are just getting stopped out of, out of this trade, after price actually going one to two is to one direction yeah and of course at one to one you're taking some pushes away you're taking like 30 30 percent of your of profits so what happened see i'm actually following this thing from this side it's a random channel i got look at this support 